This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Narrated by Sean McKinley. Letters of Two Brides by Honoré de Balzac. Letter 29. Monsieur de Lestorade to the Baron de Macumé. December 1825. Madame, it is the desire of my wife that you should not learn first from the formal announcement of an event which has filled us with joy. René has just given birth to a fine boy, whose baptism we are postponing till your return to Chantepleu. René and I both earnestly hope that you may then come as far as La Campade and will consent to act as godmother to our firstborn. In this hope, I have had him placed on the register under the name of Armand Louis de Lestorade. Our dear René suffered much, but bore it with angelic patience. You, who know her, will easily understand that the assurance of bringing happiness to us all supported her through this trying apprenticeship to motherhood. Without indulging in the more or less ludicrous exaggerations to which the novel sensation of being a father is apt to give rise, I may tell you that little Armand is a beautiful infant, and you will have no difficulty in believing it when I add that he has René's features and eyes. So far, at least, this gives proof of intelligence. The physician and accoucheur assure us that René is now quite out of danger. And as she is proving an admirable nurse, nature has endowed her so generously. My father and I are able to give free rein to our joy. Madame, may I be allowed to express the hope that this joy, so vivid and intense, which has brought fresh life into our house, and has changed the face of existence for my dear wife, may ere long be yours. René has had a suite of rooms prepared and I only wish I could make them worthy of our guests. But the cordial friendliness of the reception which awaits you may perhaps atone for any lack of splendor. I have heard from René, madame, of your kind thought in regard to us, and I take this opportunity of thanking you for it, the more gladly because nothing could now be more appropriate. The birth of a grandson has reconciled my father to sacrifices which bear hardly on an old man. He has just bought two estates, and La Campade is now a property with an annual rental of 30,000 francs. My father intends asking the king's permission to form an entailed estate of it, and if you are good enough to get for him the title of which you spoke in your last letter, you will have already done much for your godson. For my part, I shall carry out your suggestions solely with the object of bringing you and René together during the sessions of the chamber. I am working hard with a view of becoming what is called a specialist, but nothing could give me greater encouragement in my labors than the thought that you will take an interest in my little Armand. Come then, we beg of you, and with your beauty and your grace, your playful fancy and your noble soul, enact the part of good fairy to my son and heir. You will thus, madame, add undenying gratitude to the respectful regard of your very humble, obedient servant, Louis de Lesterhad. End of letter 29